the band seems uh, fairly established in its style now. I mean, the difference between, say, Three Imaginary Boys and, and um, you know, 17 Seconds was a pretty dramatic one. Yeah. And, and now, obviously, the similarity between 17 Seconds and Faith was yeah. pretty close. And, uh, in fact, uh, I would imagine that, that some of the tunes on Faith, the, or the reaction to them, people would say, you know, that's, gee, that's really similar to some of the stuff on 17 Seconds. Did you get that? Um, it is, but we haven't sort of like established a sound now because we, we never wanted to establish a sound like because in the beginning, you know, sort of like Killing an Arab was a sort of like typical cure sound and then it moved on to um, a forest was a typical cure sound, right? But we don't want to get a typical sound and that's why I'm on the new single, like, it, it's totally different production as well. And um, who are you used for production on well, it's us and, us and Mike Hedges again. Yeah, he's the guy who's worked on all your records effectively, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, we could have made Faith sound totally different. I mean, it's, it's really easy to make something sound different. All you have to do is fuss up the guitar and change the sound of the snare. But, I mean, there was no point because that was the sound that we wanted. But, I mean, obviously we aren't going to do what people expect and stick to that sound because it's horrible getting a sound which identifies you as someone as a, you know, identifiable sound for Well, it seems that, um, you know, the, some of the singles you've released, um, like A Forest, yeah. uh, that have been pretty up-tempo, yeah. know, and, and that the general mood of the albums has been, well, Faith certainly was uh, sort of medium to slow tempos, yeah. really. I mean, is that is that the sort of direction the band's sort of staying with, with the exception of sort of some of the, the faster numbers? Or? I, don't, I don't know, because we, we never, sh I mean... We never take into consideration tempo. I mean, we don't never write to order of thinking, well, we've done two slow ones now, so we've got to do two fast ones. It's, no, I understand it's that. Always, um, the overall view of it, sort of thing. Well, that's it, you know, you never tell really, because, I mean, we never know what a song's, that's being very honest here, we never know what a song's going to end up like until it's finished. I mean, when we go in the studio, we like to go in with a really loose idea and build it up in the studio. And, uh, I mean, obviously, obviously we're going with a skeleton of what we've got, but we got to b build up most of it in the studio. Mm. Was the, the last album, Faith, recorded at the Morgan Studios again? Sort of oh, God, that, that's a really horrible story. We were in Morgan, we did the backing tracks in Morgan, and then, as a favour, we let, we said we'd change studios and go somewhere else so that uh, another person could come in recording there. Is fiction still centred in, in Morgan? No, no, it's got moved to Montague Square now, very upmarket now. Um, uh, Mick Jagger's old flat is where, is where fiction records now is. Great, <laughs> oh God, lost all credibility. Um, oh, well you've moved in after he's gone, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we, yeah, we started off in Morgan, then we did a favour and let someone else come in there, which was a big mistake because then we couldn't find, a st well we went, moved to Abbey Road which had a new studio built in it which we were one of the first people to use and after a week of stumbling about in there saying something's wrong here and getting various technicians in they finally discovered that they built it wrong <laughs> so we wasted about four days in there which we started to pay for and then we moved on to about three other studios for about a day at a time you know which is really a joke mm. Do you, I mean, as the band, uh, do you have a sort of a manager and stuff to k handle all your financial things and all that sort of stuff? Or do you mainly try and take care of that yourself? Or is that Parry's job? Or? Uh, we haven't got a manager, but I mean, we look after ourselves and Chris Parry mm. looks after ourselves, looks after us a lot. Mm. I mean, it's just sort of like, um, it, I mean, it, it's all between us, Chris Parry, Anita, who works at Fiction oh, as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, what about the sort of say the cost of making records at the moment? Is it, I mean, looking at the records that you've made, yeah, uh, in terms of what would it, the budget that would have been available to you, has that gone up a lot? Has the cost of studios um, gone up a lot? Stuff like cost that? studios go, is, goes up with the cost of living, really. But really, we don't spend all that much money on making LPs. Although, I mean, not um, on purpose. I mean, if it if it we, if we needed to um, 
spend about two months in the studio than we would. But um, we just we just normally finish quite early and never spend that much. I mean, all th all three albums, right? Have only cost what it costs Span their belly to make their last video, which is a really weird uh, fact. But I, I what was sort of money you Um. I can't remember it, man, to be quite honest. What, 20,000 quid or something? Yeah, something like that. That's, that's what... I think, no, I think Faith cost something like 19,000. 17 seconds cost something like 17,000 quid or something like that. Mm. And uh, the Energy Boys cost something like 11. Mm. 